Hello, everyone. Welcome to the first Yardcore Nexus. I am joined by Serendi. Um, she was kind enough to volunteer her house for uh, the first episode, and we're just going to try it out and see what happens and do what we do. So thank you for coming on. <laughs> thank you for having me. Totally. So uh, let's just do general tour of the house. Like, show me around outside and inside, and we can talk about it and stuff. Okay. Well, the outside is just basically a hodgepodge for everything and anything you could possibly want for relaxation. I like how uh, you've got, like, this little hut over the uh, res point, so it's not just, like, a, a walk of shame. <laughs> yeah, it's most likely going... I gotta finish that one. Um, it's basically the shed for the beer and wine and everything else. It's a good place for the to party. <laughs> You've got the party area with the stage for singing and whatever you guys want to do. little private area over here for the gazebo. That's really pretty. You can still see what's going on and hear the music. But it's like offset so you're not so bombarded by everything. Exactly. For the outdoorsy people, we have a little swamp area. Oh cool! I love how you did the water effect. Yeah, that took some doing. I can imagine. <laughs> yeah, and we have I'm going on the water theme. There is glass in here, the green glass, to make it look like it has a little bit of water on the edge. Oh, cool. Yeah, I see that. That's a really cool use. I have this fab kit in my plot and that just makes it look awesome. And the little areas over here just to sit and relax and talk. Up here is the tree bar. Tree bar sounds fun. This is made of just the two by fours in glass. Wow. I'm amazed at what folks can do with the two by fours. Like I have no spatial sense whatsoever. So like this is just mind blowing seeing that this is just made with two by fours. I love the little yeah. aquarium too, how you've turned the uh, TV screen into an aquarium. I have never seen that before. Yeah, the wall needed something, so. It was a little idea. I actually got it from a thread on the forums. Forums are awesome like that. <laughs> they are. <laughs> you got the pool table over here. And did you make that as well? I did. Just the... Um, Two by fours, table, and some chua balls and stuff, or chua cups. Cool. Yeah, this is just a. I tried to fit one of the new doors on here, but it just did not work. So I made one. <laughs> Underneath the tree bar is a collection of um, things that I picked up. All the ships from uh, ship hands and yep. various collectibles. And the totems and... Do you have a plushy shelf anywhere? Because you could always add a plushy shelf down here. I have plushies in the house. Oh, perfect. <laughs> and you have a little camping area. Complete with your own sleeping bag. Oh, cool. 
I don't ever think to put things on my fab kits. I, I always think they're like done and done when they're down. So it's neat to see like the creativity like on top of fab kits. Yeah, some fab kit fab kits you cannot doesn't allow you to, but these ones that you don't have to pay the weekly expense for, you can. Oh cool. Over here I have the hot springs. I love this fab kit, it's one of my favorites. Nothing really fancy, I just added some flowers and bushes to it and that's about it. Keep it natural but inviting. Exactly. Up here, this is a tree swing. Oh cool! I never would have noticed that. Alright, let's see if I can get up. I probably have to jump. Yep. This is awesome. It's the little things that take the most pride. Yeah. yeah and then we have... This is more of like a work area. I've got the... Work, people, um, relaxation area. Cool. And then over here behind these walls is the work area itself. Nice. Do the walls come with it or did you put up the walls? I put up the walls, added the little stool and the floor. Very cool. It makes it more inviting. It does. Then the windows on the side, the little glow from the inside is actually um, the lamps that I stuck in the wall. Oh, neat. It's the little touches, like those things, like I'd be like, why don't my windows glow like Serindy's? Rawr! And like I'd never figure it out. <laughs> yeah, put the lights inside. And over here we have a little, a little, another little swing, like a date area. Oh, I love this one. And I like the uh, flowers above it. It's kind of like a light without it being a light. Yeah. Low glow. Out back again. These spiral staircases, I know there's an add-on to make it. I didn't use the add-on. Oh wow, that takes uh, lots and lots of patience. This is like perfectly yeah. done. <laughs> I eyeballed it the whole way. Wow, you didn't even use the copy paste transform stuff? Well, I did do that and then I just eyeballed putting them into position. Just so wow. I make sure they're all the same size. Just a little area to just kind of sit and relax and look out and see what everyone else is doing. Did you make the porch too? I did. It feels like it just belongs on it, like it's part of the house. That's the way that I wanted it to feel, so thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> and then the other spiral staircase goes up to the Widow Walk. Now the Widow Walk is part of the house. It came with it. Okay. I like how you've made like a little relaxation area out of it though. Yeah. Now is that it's a is that a campfire put in something or is that a new item or that is the metal fire pit. Okay, I have never seen that before. Yep, it's on the vendor. Nice. Up on the roof, where oh, she got this little chum. I love that guy. Yeah, the condensed black for focus. Yeah. And then, looks like the workers were over here having a little party themselves. <laughs> Fixing the roof and having a beer. Exactly. Oh, 
as I fall. That's all right. We're going back down. I like how you added the railing on the side as well. That is actually the Orin Fenson. I love it. Because I'm one of those people that will be running up a spiral staircase and somehow fall off. <laughs> yeah, I did that a couple of times while I was building it. <laughs> <laughs> Over here we have the hot tub. Oh, so awesome. And I love how oh, you set up the beach chairs with a sleeping bag, and is that two by fours? Yes, two by fours and sleeping bags. That's so cool. And of course the red lanterns that are inside the windows. Oh, clever. I like the way it glows. Yeah, it gives it a nice ambient feel. And then in the house. Now this spacious house originally has two floors. And is that stage thing a part of it right here? Yes, the stage comes with it. Okay. Oh, over here is Bob. Oh, and he's got food dishes and everything. And yes. he has food in the dishes. <laughs> Yeah, I put little food in his dishes. And he's got a pet bed. I approve. Pet roused hour. Yeah. Couldn't think of a good name, so I just call him Bob. Bob works. This is Greta. And Greta. I love it. I love how she's wielding. Is that the Rest in Peacemaker? It is. Awesome. Got little uh, suds in the sink. and. Now, did you line up a bunch of unburnt toast to make that loaf? I did. That's awesome. I like how you used the uh, Orin chest as like a set of drawers too. Like there's some housing items I know and some I don't. <laughs> yeah, kitchen is not a kitchen without a set of drawers. No, it's not. Where are you going to store the silverware? Exactly. All and right. you have the, ref the refrigerator. That's awesome. I like how you used the doors and made your own. Yeah. The kitchen, little dining area, seat for six. I like how you have the cookbook set up too. Like it's the little details and the cabinets up top as well. Like it's not just like space, there's actual like cabinets. Yeah, it wasn't a real kitchen without them. No. Up on the stage area is a little indoor bar, and of course Protostar is my bartender. Of course, you have to have Protostar wearing a cowboy hat too. Yeah, wearing the, actually that's the judge's hat, yeah. I forgot to put his bow tie on, but I'll do that after. <laughs> I like how you used the Beyond the Fringe posters in here as decoration. Do you have them all, or? Uh, no, not all. Just These are just the ones from the vendor. Gotcha. And then upstairs, you have the TV room, complete with remote on the table. Nice. That's a nice use for the keyboard. Yeah. Just a little TV room just to sit down and relax and watch some boob tube. <laughs> This is actually one of my favorite rooms right here. This is the cushion room. Oh, I love the snow lop. I, it's dangerous having him by the fire, though. Uh, he's well protected. And is that that magic gnome hat or whatever that drops? Barely, barely? Yeah. Yes. Yep. I want that. It's so cute on him. Yeah, the mythical creature's hat is what it's called. And I like how you have the plushies on top of the uh, fireplace as well. Yeah, I've got plushies all over the place in this house. My star on the wall is actually tall vials. That was on my uh, Christmas tree. Oh, cool. That's the topper. Yeah, 
And through here is a half bathroom. I like the lighting. And then down here, this is just off the kitchen area here. You got a little storage oh, area. Cool. This is my trophy and weapon room. The sword and the stone. Yep. Custom made cabinets, two by fours and glass. That's awesome. And a little hallway here, just with a little chest sitting there. Up here is the library. This chaise looks very, very comfy. Thanks. Chua pillows, I think, and two by fours. Two by fours. Exactly. Yeah, none of the couches I liked worked in here. You yeah, have back here a little area, just a lounge and read. I like this. I want something like this in my house. <laughs> to use all the space. Can't leave any space uh, empty. Nope. You have the library section here. I like how you have a table set up with a backpack nonetheless. Yeah. That backpack I just put down I think last week. <laughs> it's a nice touch. It makes it feel lived in. I mean, not that it doesn't feel lived in, but it's the little touches, like, that make it feel less of, like, museum-y and more, like, homey. Yeah. Up here are the bedrooms. This one is the guest room. With a guest bath? With a guest bath. I like the storage of all the toilet paper and towels and such. Yeah, I was going to build something. I'm like, you know what, I'll just use that. <laughs> and then over here is the master suite. With the master bathroom. I tried to keep the room so that each one of them has a different feel. Yeah. And then in here is the changing area. This is really cool. Do all my work on this computer here. <laughs> I can tell with all the sticky notes on the wall. Yeah, looks it's my almost, workstation. Looks almost like a computer at home. <laughs> it actually looks like my desk at home. <laughs> yeah, I like my house. It's um, homey. It is. It is. It's called Sanctuary. Because it feels like a sanctuary. Oh, this is... So, did you put plants into this? Because this doesn't look like something I've seen. That is the portable planter. It comes from the new melting pot. Gotcha. Expedition. And yes, I added plants and bushes to it. I will have to hit that uh, fab kit up. Yeah, I get a lot of good things from there. Mm -hmm. 
So what made you decide to get into housing in Wildstar? I, well, it's mostly my creativity. It's an outlet for me to do different things and to see how I can take something that's like a window and turn it into a mirror. I can take something that's meant to be a wall and turn it into a floor or a ceiling. Yeah, it's just different things. Two by four is supposed to be built with. You can use them for anything. Just taking everyday objects and making something new out of them. Now, when you first started building this plot, did you like have any specific ideas in mind and have they changed since you've started building or? Actually, I didn't have anything in mind. I just started building. Um, the tree house, the tree bar was actually over to the right over the swampy area. And I just didn't like it there. I just looked too, too much in that one corner. So I moved it. Gotcha. Yeah, just trial and error and looking at the, the forums, the housing forums, which is a big inspiration to anybody who wants to do housing. Yeah, I need and to check that out more often. Seeing all the um, creativity that goes on in there and the, the pictures that were posted in there. That's where I got a lot of my ideas from. And then going around and seeing other people's lots and stuff and, oh, I like that. I think I'll use that idea, but I'll change it up for mine. <laughs> so if you were going to give any pointers or tips to new folks, aside from what you've kind of already mentioned, what would they be like checking forums, looking at other people's houses, anything else? Let your imagination wander. Grab something, try to make something out of it. You don't like it, create it, start over. Just trial and error. Just see what you like, what your aesthetic is, and go from there. This type of house is my aesthetic. I've seen others that are 100% covered. There's no grass, there's no nothing. Everything's all metal. That's their aesthetic, and it looks really good. You know, be creative. Look at what's available on the vendor. Look what's available that architects can make. Architects will help you not only by making you stuff, by actually helping you to know what you can use this object for besides what it was intended. Right, like using a, a bottle as a door handle, for instance, or something. Exactly. We're using the chew cup for a shower head. Just different things like that. Um, using the the wooden handle knives as chalices for your plushies. You know? <laughs> There's just different things that you can use and um, different ways that you can use them. Before I made the refrigerator that's in my kitchen, I was actually using two of the The boxes uh, that the you boxes. sit on top of each other for a freezer yeah. and fridge? Yep, I was using that um, and then I switched it over and used the um, chewer containment that's over in that little um, thing over there where my res thing is. Yeah. Um, I was using that and had a handle on it and use it for a fridge. And then I decided to make one that actually used the doors that I could open. So it wasn't just in place it all down and I'm done sort of thing. It's been like a growing project as you've continued. Yes, everything has changed. Everything has changed since I started. I did build a second floor up on the front of this house. Sorry, my husband's... Well, he's going to be on YouTube. He's going to be YouTube famous. Yeah, I know, it's annoying. <laughs> <laughs>
I did have a second floor up here. Um, if you can see that those joists that come out underneath that second floor window, I had a second floor that came all the way out to the edge of the deck that went all the way around. And I took that down and just left the back one up. Yeah, this lot has changed a lot over the past couple of months. And do you think it'll keep changing as you find more drops in Wildstar? Or they change limits or? Yes, it will be forever changing. In fact, at one point, the name of it was ever changing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it will mostly stay the same. There will be little touches here and there that'll change. You know, like adding things to the fab kits. Well, I love everything you've done. Well, thank you. Oh, this I just added today on my thicket. I added the gold in the cave, the oh. little skate goodie bag, and then the plushie. I love the plushie. He, and he feels like he fits here, because I think of the trees in Galeris and how they're like next to the trees, the two mm -hmm. thorns. Yeah, he was a perfect spot for him here. Yeah, just let your imagination soar. Well, thank you so much for sharing your plot with me and, and for volunteering to be the first victim uh, a volunteer. <laughs> You're welcome. It was fun. Yeah, so I hope people enjoyed it. And if they want to get in touch with you in-game or out-of-game, how should they go about it? On the Wildstar forums, I am Serindy. On a Twitter, you can at Serindy Fitch. In game, it's spousal unit fetch. Very cool, and I'll add all of those uh, to the video when it's made so folks can clicky clicky. Well, thank you. Totally. Thank you for uh, volunteering again. Oh, you're very welcome. <laughs>